If you're new in Photoshop, I'm going to show you today how to create a Valentine's Day card that you can actually print out and you can actually give to someone, kind of like a little homemade project, but just kind of, you know, something fun. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by going up here to Photoshop, even though I have the canvas set up. I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go to New and show you how to set up your artboard here. You can name it if you decide you want to, it's totally up to you. But what you want to do is you want to create a document here that is eight and a half by 11 inches. Make sure it's on inches there. My Photoshop is normally on pixels, but for this tutorial, I'm changing to inches because I want to print this out. Also, make sure that your color mode right here is on CMYK outside of the RGB or anything else there. Um, and make sure your resolution is 300, which is going to give it the 300 DPI. And the bits there really doesn't matter, whatever the case may be. And the color, you can start off with any color you want. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to tr create that canvas there. But it's pretty much the same thing that I have right here. So what I'm going to do to start off here is I'm going to pull up my rulers because we're going to need those. So if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command R. If you're on a PC, hit Control R to bring up your rulers there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler and we're going to pull it down here just to the top and it should snap right to the edge there. So I'm going to grab a ruler there, 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 and there. Okay. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to create our bleeds because if you're going to get this printed out professionally or if you're going to send this to somebody in reference to a professional printer, you definitely want to make sure that you have enough bleeds there to where you don't get yourself in trouble to where um, you know, you're cutting off some of your artwork there in reference to your bleeds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here to our image and I'm going to come down here to canvas size. And this is just the easiest rule of thumb that I've always used to create bleeds. Um, you create the image whatever size you want it. 8.5 by 11 is the size of a full piece of paper, so you can print this on your own printer. And I'm going to go over here to inches, and then I'm just going to add a quarter to each one. So to make this 8 and um, add a quarter to it, I'm just going to put a 7 in front to make it 75 versus the half. And then right here for the height, I'm going to make this 11.25. And then when you just hit OK, what's going to happen here is you're going to make your bleeds there. I left it on the pink color there so you can see the bleeds there, but I'm going to hit Command Z. I'm going to go back over here to the image canvas size and I'm going to go back to the um, inches. Go do this all over again. 0.75 here. Let me select that thing. 0.25 and I'm going to make my color that the white color is the same as the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and you see my bleeds for sure there now, OK? You've seen them before. I just kind of showed you that as an example. This right here, you can really see them in reference to the white there. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to make our canvas a certain color. I've already got over here my color chips here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift Delete on a Mac here. And I'm going to go over here to color and I'm going to select the color and I'm just going to just touch this color chip right here with my eyedropper tool, hit OK, and I'm going to hit OK. And my whole canvas is all one color with the bleeds as well. Once again, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my text tool and I'm going to select my text tool. Now, what I'm going to do is on my guide there, if I go right to that corner there and I start to drag, I'm going to grab my guide and it's going to snap right to it. So I'm definitely right on the guide um, and I have my cursor set to where it's in the left corner versus the center justification or the right justification there and what I'm going to use is the red color here which I already have selected and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type out I L O V E and you and what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and select this right here and I'm going to go up here to my text with the scrubby slider, as you can see here, and I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger. Now, once I get the size a little bit bigger there, actually, I would like to have it white instead of the red there. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Come over here, select the white, and I'll make the font right there. And you can use any font you want. You can just kind of select the font there. You can come over here to you know your font styles or whatever and select whatever type of font you want. What I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna to copy this and I'm going to 
do a space there. I'm going to hit Command V, Command V, um, get my space in there. And I'm going to do Command V one more time. Now, I notice that it's a little bit close, and I don't really want it that close in reference to the words. So I'm going to select all of it right here. Come over here to the little A. If you don't have this right here as far as your characters, come over here to your window, select your characters, and it'll pop out, and you can dock it over here if you decide you want to. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm going to say I want to slide to set the landing here so as you can see the word U is dropping down there and there's some space in between there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this off here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all this I'm gonna put my cursor here actually I'm gonna make a space first and then I'm gonna select all this and then I'm gonna put, leave my cursor right here and then I'm gonna hit V and just keep hitting command V and it's gonna fill in there in reference to kinda of being spaced the way I want it to and it's going to fill in the text. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room down here. And actually, I don't really like the spacing. So I'm going to select everything once again by hitting Command A. And I'm going to come back over here to the character. And I'm just going to kind of space things out a little bit more in reference to the height as far as kind of just kind of getting a, a repetitive background back there. You know, any way you want to do that, that's totally fine. I'm going to hit my V key here. And I'm just going to hold my shift and hit the arrow key to the right. And I'm just going to move it just a little bit to the right, kind of fill it in there. And I'm going to move it down just a little bit more and just kind of center justify it the best that I can by hand. Now, you definitely can hit your M key, which is going to bring up your rec rectangular marquee tool. And you can get on those guides once again. You can just kind of hit all four corners of the guides there. Come over here to your move tool, and you're going to get your... Uh, align vertical center and you're going to get your align vertical center there but you can see it kind of push it back to the left there so actually I want to go ahead and keep it where I had it before and get rid of those marching ants and have it set up that way the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to um, create a new layer and within a new layer I'm going to come right over here to my uh, shape tool and over here in the shape tool make sure you do custom shape and by default right here in Photoshop you can see where they have the little heart right inside here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter and I have my little crosshairs here selected and I'm just gonna come over here to the center actually let's go ahead and drag out a guide right to the center and you kinda of fill it right there in the center it's gonna snap right to the center there and I'm gonna put my little um, crosshairs on the center I'm gonna hold command I'm gonna hold option and shift and drag out to the right there and it's going to create a heart there um, the color that you have set right there and if you decide you want to stroke on it uh, what you can do is you can select the color there and you can set your parameters in reference to the, you know how much of a stroke you desire so we can take this over here drop this down and make the stroke a little bit more you know it's kinda of inside there and you can come over here and play around with your stroke to make it inside outside um, dotted lines, a pattern, whatever you decide you want to do um, and just have fun with it. So let's just go ahead and go with the gradient there. I'm going to select the um, red gradient by default here and we have that going on right there. So you can kind of see it fills in a little bit and when I click off of this layer here I'm going to create a new layer and you can kind of see where it kind of fades up right there which is kind of fun, kind of cool. So I'm going to hit Command H to get rid of all my guides. Even though I know the bleeds are there, I'm not going to go outside that level right there. And what you can do is create one more layer here. And what you can come over to your type tool and go ahead and I have my colors white selected. And I'm just going to click right inside there because I'm just going to actually, here's the best thing to do here. I'm going to hit Command Enter to commit that again. I'm going to hide this layer because with all that text all over the place, it's always going to kind of see that text. So I want to do some new text. So on this layer, I'm going to just come over here and I'm just already have on my clipboard, Happy Valentine's Day. And let me find that real quick. There it is right there. And I'm just going to let go and it's going to type it out there for me. It's a little tool called uh, Jump Cut. If you decide you want it, hit Command Enter to commit it, and then I'm going to turn that background layer on there again. Now my heart here, what I want to do is I want to kind of double click this right here, 
and I want to do a drop shadow, kind of give it some type of three-dimensional feel, kind of bring that drop shadow down just a little bit. And I'm going to put that over here back on normal and hit OK. And then I'm just going to bring the opacity down on that layer just a little bit, just a smidgen to kind of see through the I love you's there. I can see the I love you's kind of coming through there. And right here on the Valentine's Day, I'm going to click there one more time. I'm going to go to the edge, just hit enter. And I'm going to hit the center justification because I want to work in the center. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put my sweetheart's name right there. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut that. And I'm going to hit commit it and just hit enter. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer by hitting command J. Now, when I hit command J, it's going to duplicate that layer verbatim. You see right there, it says copy. I'm going to hit my V key. And I'm just going to drag down that layer right there. Hit my T key once again for my um, um, the text tool. And I'm going to paste my wife's name right there. And I'm just going to kind of find a little sweet spot right there. And I'm just going to make this right here bigger to drag it over. And I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, do this right here as far as kind of center justify and hit enter. Now here's another rendition right here that I made right here earlier, kind of practicing and you can kind of go with all kind of different little designs. Um, whatever it is you decide you want to do is totally up to you. It's totally fine. But you know, um, you plan on going all out for Valentine's Day. You plan on doing something really big, but something like this right here pre Valentine's Day could suffice and be enough in reference to kind of, you know, um, saying, you know we're getting ready for Valentine's Day and having fun actually right here the last tip I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna let you go is when you select this text right here you have a little icon up here which is the um, kinda of like the warp tool and I'm gonna say I wanna do a little bit of an arch here and I wanna bring the arch down just a little bit kinda of make that arch over top of the name there and hit OK hit command enter to commit it and I'm gonna go V select the name there my wife's name just kind of move that up by holding shift and the arrow key up and boom I'm complete I'm done so you know this is a real quick tutorial on how to make a Valentine's Day card for your loved one uh, kind of pre Valentine's Day card they may not really accept or want something handmade for Valentine's Day so don't have anybody come over here on my channel cussing me out getting upset with me and angry at me because I told you to make a Valentine's Day card for Valentine's Day versus you going to go buy something. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know. Kind of send me a link to your um, creation that you made. Shoot it to me some type of way. And I'm, you know, grateful that you hung out with me today. And thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye.